Well, good afternoon. Uh, my name's Dave Edwards. My honour, my pleasure to be your commentator for uh, this afternoon's what should be an exciting game here at North Lodge Park in Pintmedden is the Utilita Energy Scottish Highland League Football. The old Murganti Cup, as it was called, semi-final between for Martin United and Rothis. The teams this afternoon for Martin United in their traditional red and white stripes are more or less at full strength. Uh, there is a place uh, on the bench for new signing Johnny Smith. Uh, he makes the bench today, but more or less the full strength for Martin United. Not so for the Space Siders, their first 11 featuring new goalkeeper, new signing from Wick Academy, Sean McCarthy. Uh, you can see the Space Siders uh, have got a very small bench, this four on the bench. But again, the Space Siders with Alan McKenzie. Keeping up the pressure. Have a chance here. What a save. Great shot by Ali Sutherland and well palmed away by Kevin Main in the United goal. Here we go again. This time, ah, it's a corner kick. Ball across by Pollock. Great header, but it does elude everyone at the back post and rolls out for a goal kick. And in turn, Plays it to Ali Sutherland, looking for Kerr. Gary Kerr, got a chance here, half a chance. Again, it's blocked by Kevin Main. Oh, and Fraser Robertson fires the rebound over the top. Feeds Alan Pollock, but it's cut out. Gethin's got a foot in there. Free kick to for Martin United. Smith is wide on the left, all on his own. Don't know whether Anderson will feed him or if he's even seen him. He has seen him. Fires it straight to Stuart Smith. Ball across, goal. Oh, that was a chance. That was a real chance. Kelly to Smith. And Smith sends it long also. Picked out Daniel Park though. Playing it wide on the right. Crawford, and there'll be a long ball into the box. Great touch. Oh, brilliant, brilliant interception there. Little triangles, Roger to Crawford. Looking for Norris. Oh, there's a slip there and Park's in. Brilliant interception though. Whoa! Deflection there. For Martin claiming that it was a handball that hit the Rothis defender. Long ball from McEwen across to Smith. Uh, for Martin going nowhere at the moment, but it uh, doesn't take long to open up a defence, especially with somebody like Greg now on the pitch, and Smith. Smith feeds, it's a goal! Great strike by Daniel Park from the edge of the box, fed by Stuart Smith, and Daniel Park buries it low past Sean McCarthy from 18 yards to put for Martin one up. 20 minutes to go, it's for Martin United one, Rothis nil. For him, maybe too big a game for him to be thrown into the action. Gary Wood holding out well. Roger trying to get a shot in. Roger does get a shot in, but it's well gathered in. Nobody's moved as yet. It's Scott Lyle feeds Johnny, Johnny Smith, and it's Lyle bursting in the box. Great move. Great move and a super tackle. Daniel Park with the free kick. Nicely flighted. Oh, and a great header. Great header by Johnny Crawford, it was well saved indeed by McCarthy. Jack Malley, his first sight of him, back in a tangerine shirt. Young Ross Gunn. Youngster does well, gets his cross in. Half chance here for Rothis. It's a goal! It's an equaliser! And it's Ali Sutherland, I think. Ali Sutherland drills it with his left foot past Kevin Main. An equaliser for the Space Siders with four and a half minutes left on the clock. I must admit I didn't see that coming. But he showed great composure, the former Elgin City man, to take that one as it came to him. Four minutes to go. It's for Martin United 1. Rothis 1. Craig Cormack. Space Riders' tails are up now, a chance! Oh, Sutherland again, and well saved by Main. Cormac feeds Sutherland, now Sutherland's only got caught, he's got uh, McEwen to beat. 
Cormac's inside. That's a great save by Kevin Main. Brilliant save from Sutherland. That could have been the winner for Rothis. Ah, brilliant play by Andy Gregg. The game stretched now. Play flowing from end to end. Gregg on his own. He shoots. And it blocked by McCarthy with his foot. That was a brave save by the Rothis keeper. You'd have put odds on Andy Gregg scoring there, but a brilliant block with his leg by Sean McCarthy. But it's looking more and more like 30 minutes of extra time here at North Lodge Park in Pitt Medden. Great play by me, by uh, Ali Sutherland. So she, ooh, it's a shot by Young Gun and it ripples the side netting. And there's the final whistle. 90 minutes have come and gone. That late equaliser by Ali Sutherland for Rothis, sending the game into extra time. Score after 90 minutes. For Martin United 1, Rothis 1. Main long ball forward. Bruce Milne was all over Johnny Smith there. And Rothis get the ball. Young gun. Confident, confident little youngster. Great ball through. Ball through to Craig Cormack. What can he do? And he scores! Craig Cormack sends it low past Kevin Main to send Rothis into a 2-1 lead. And we're only two minutes into the first period of extra time for Martin claiming offside. Referee explaining that the ball was played through two defenders. And Smith going to strike for goal. I, I expect him to. I think he will. It's well blocked by the Rothis wall. But Greg turns it back. Off a for Martin United player for a goal kick. Can find Sutherland. Nice turn, great turn by Sutherland to Cormac, a shot, and it's well palmed down and gathered at a second attempt. Yeah, you sense the urgency in the for Martin side now. Goal behind, they need to do something to get back on level terms. And there they go, that's Greg who feeds Lyle, Lyle shoots. Johnny Smith with the ball, sends it wide across the park to Crawford. John Crawford sends it to Greg. Greg shoots. Oh, and he fires wide. Not surprisingly, McEwen right at the heart of the action. Here's Pollock. Now, Pollock's got nobody with him at the moment, but he's got the ball. Can he feed Young Gun or can he feed Ali McKenzie? McKenzie wide on the left hand flank, cutting in. Ali McKenzie is going to fire, shoot a goal. He does, but it's well blocked indeed by, I think it was Darren Kelly got his head to that one and for Martin Brake. And Martin break again, it's uh, Andrew Gregg, lovely ball in, evades Ali Stark, picks out Dan Park. Oh, and a good shot and a good save by McCarthy diving low to his right. McEwen is coming up at the back post, he's a real danger man in this sort of situation. And it's well cleared there by, for, whoa, just past there, just past the post. He does. Fires it up, Cormac, Cormac looks to win it to Ali Sutherland, what's he going to do, is he going to take the stick or is he going to feed Cormac, he's fed Cormac, he's going to shoot, Cormac shoots, on oh, a brilliant save by Main. the rebound falls to Cormac and he volleys over the top, but a wonderful save by Kevin Main to keep his side in this semi-final, extra time or injury time in extra time, for Martin United, the long ball in, half a chance, it's cleared by Rothis, off a for Martin player, and there it is. The referee blows his final whistle. And Rothis are through to the Highland League Cup final for only the second time in the Space Siders history. That goal, that winning goal coming from Craig Cormark in the first half of extra time for Martin United had taken the lead through Daniel Park. But four minutes from the end of normal time, Rothis equalised with a strike from Ali Sutherland. And then, as I said, Craig Cormack scored the winner in the first period of extra time. A historic winner for Rothis. The final score here at North Lodge Park for Martin United 1, Rothis 2.